comments before I even roll in. In fact, I could sit there and have a conversation with you. So how, is, how are you? I'm just really happy to be here, by the way, because we just had the biggest storm I've ever seen in my life go through. And I even emailed the girls that are joining us today. If I lose my internet, let's keep our fingers crossed. And the last bit of lightning went through about 10 minutes ago. So whew, Wolfpack must be sending some good vibes because uh, uh, yeah, it was pretty nasty. <laughs> so how are you? Okay, I have a really fun show for you today. Very informational, very funny, by the way, and probably not everything you're expecting. So you all know that I have a cruise coming up in February. And I had a chat with Fashion Sewing Club yesterday, and the chat was, you said you would never, ever, ever go on a cruise. And I said, yes, no, I would never. And I've turned many down. But this one was too good to pass up. And I'm really excited to see a lot of the Wolfpack's going to be joining. Uh, yesterday, Fashion Sewing Club members, Phyllis was showing us some fabulous outfits she made. Phyllis, you know, I dreamt about you last night. I hate to say that. It was a good thing. But I was like, oh, my gosh, you've made all these great outfits. I better get to it. Because if I start now, I might be finished and not staying up for like four nights in a row before we go on this fabulous cruise. So I have today with us Kelly. <laughs> Okay, you've heard me talk about Kelly. Kelly, I'm laughing down there because wait till you see her set, okay? <laughs> it is amazing. So I've talked a little bit about her family to you guys. I've talked a little bit about what she does. You're going to love it. And I also have Phyllis here, who is the guru of sewing and embroidery. I, if you haven't met her before, you will now. So say hi to the ladies. Let's bring them to the party. Hi, Hello. how are you? <laughs> We're okay. doing good. How are you? Thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So for all of you that don't know, Phyllis is on the left, Kelly's on the right. So, and you're <laughs> on set right now, yeah. Kelly, you're on set. Yes. It, it's funny because my family members make this look so easy to get up here and be in front of people, but it's not. I'll tell you that right now. But no, we thought we'd take advantage of our set. Um, I'm with the Presley family. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, the Presley Theater, you should be. You, you better get here. Yes. But it's the Presley Jubilee in Branson, Missouri. And, and my husband is one of the weirdos that's on stage. So uh, if you haven't seen the show, you'll, you'll, you'll think I'm crazy. But it's true. I don't think, I don't think I've <laughs> ever heard comedy. There's no better way to put it, really. If you get RFD TV there every Saturday at 6.30, they're, they're, they have a show yeah. on RFD. Yeah. So you yeah. can check out. Yeah, we have a TV Diesel. show and then we have our live show at night. Yeah. So we thought, well, what better place to do this than right here on the stage? And we've got great lights. We might as well take advantage of it. So, And I think I even, your husband was even in the background decorating the set. So we might yes. even get a preview on the way. See him running around here somewhere. So he's, he'll, oh, he'll, 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 he's in the face. darkness somewhere. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, hey Wolfpack, I have any of you been to any of these shows? Oh, any funny. of you? <laughs> I'm just curious because you never know. The Wolfpack is worldwide, yeah. and Bronson, Missouri is like one of the most popular places in the U.S. My brother went there with his whole family recently. Uh, they love it. I, they There's love a lot it. To do here, and you know the theater has been here in the same spot since 1967. So they have done a lot of shows, um, and yeah, it's just a great place to be for families. To be really honest with you, because there's a lot more here than people realize. There's so much to do outdoors. There's so much to do. It brings families together. Like during the summer right now, our normal crowd is grandparents bringing their kids that they brought years ago, and then those kids are bringing their grandkids. Mm -hmm. So it's just a really fun thing to witness, seeing all these pictures and memories and traditions being made and that they keep up with. So we have a lot of fam extended family members that come see us every summer <laughs> and we get to see their families grow. And and it's just a it's a really neat thing to be a part of. That's so cool. And I will drop the link to your website and bring that up here shortly. Uh, okay. So, by the way, um, you. <laughs> Everyone was asking Kelly Presley, 
Elvis Presley. Any relation? Well, you know, uh, for about 50 years, we said no, because we didn't think there was. But some a division of the Presley family did some history. And it turns out that there is a small connection, but it's way down the line. So I guess we've been lying for a while, but not in TV. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's not close enough that we're in the will or anything like that. But, you know, it, at the same time, it's Elvis. So it's, it's Elvis is Elvis. Elvis. My husband said it's definitely not an Elvis show, so you wouldn't want to come here expecting Elvis music. But I guess it's bringing the genes or something, the musical talent. <laughs> yes, and the entertainment, I would definitely say for sure. Yes. So, Phyllis, I have a question for you because I've yes. met you before. And actually, we were just chatting about when I actually did first meet you. And I do remember that. I laugh. You just, you're hilarious. So I'm trying to think what year that was, though, because I recognize the dress. That's how I usually tell what it, year it was. It was the funny. year of Brothers uh, 100th anniversary. I do remember okay. that. And so I want to say it might have been the last time we were in that Nashville before COVID. So maybe oh. 19? Yeah. Maybe? That so, so you have to share uh, how we met because that's the funniest story ever. So for all of you that don't know, every August there's a brother event, a brother event. And uh, yeah. there's been times where we've had, where I was on the cover of the big dream frame, which still people have that photo and that poster because it's so funny. I look like a giant. And then we had <laughs> Dream Weaver. Remember the... Do you remember the Dreamweaver song playing throughout the whole event? And I was, that's my first experience working with brother. And then the years have gone by. It's always so fun. So when I met you, that was uh, about maybe halfway through working with brother. Oh, you got yeah, the photo. Well, actually, I do know it was the year the Luminaire came out, 2008. This would have been August 2018. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So that story was so funny. I hadn't heard yeah. that before. Yeah. So so before I worked at, at the, uh, for, for Sean, I worked in alteration shop and we had a lovely lady came in with her vintage Dick Clark autograph doll that his head had come off. <laughs> and um, I have, I have a picture of him and we were going to fix it. And he's soft body plastic, head plastic hands. And I really, I'm, I'm looking down cause I'm going to get the picture of him here while we're talking. And I wouldn't fix him, but we would pose him all around the shop and, in a Easter hat, and uh, we did we did we did the Springfield Cardinals cost uh, uniforms, and we put him in a uniform. We would pose him, and we always called it Adventures in Headless Dick, because it's funny and it's Dick Clark. And eventually, he he did get fixed, and so he was my wallpaper on my on my phone when you graciously let me have a picture with you. I got to find it. I lost it. You all. And, uh, so the guy taking our pictures touched my phone and, and he goes, there's a puppet on here. So I start telling you the story of Headless Dick. And I do have the picture of you and I, but I show everybody the doll. It's funnier. But the day he got fixed, the day he got fixed um, his last day at work, he got to work at the, at the front counter. I don't know if everybody can see that, but there he is. There's, there's Dick Clark <laughs> autograph <funny>. doll. <laughs> But when he, when he got there, he, oh, was, he was in parts. He was in parts. So he lived with us for a year and we would stick him on the thread. We put his head on the thread mask. We would, we would put him on mannequins. We would put him in shoes. Um, we just posed him all over the store. Well, and so long, long story short, when you met Angela for the first time, here I'm fangirling because it's Angela <laughs> and tell her this story about headless dick. So <laughs> Oh, I will say when you just asked me recently if I remember that. Yes, I do. I have not ever heard that story before. So Phyllis, it would have to been you. <laughs> yes, that's right. And there is Angela and myself. Let me and see that. That's how I could tell what year it was. I made that dress. Yes, I remember. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, you can't make stuff like that up. Now that's not what no, talked me no. going on the cruise, by the so way. Every time I'd see her in the hallway, I would sneak pictures of her. And there was one time you were out doing a live stream and you saw me and you waved me over, but I was too chicken to get in with you. Oh, man, so nice to me. Some crazy lady. <laughs> oh no. A crazy lady that's very talented, by the way. So you are at John Sewing Center. And yes. you teach more classes than, I mean, you're the busiest lady that sews I know. 
Is that, I, is that even a little crime? You know, that adage, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And in, in my 50s, I changed careers and now I, I sew all day. I get to show people all the wonderful machines and how to, uh, what's the best way to do it and, and how to, I mean, which I just have their the best store time. is the top brother sales store in the, like the tri-state area. Isn't well, it? we, we, last year, B2B at last year, we, we, we were number one in luminaire sales. Luminaire sales. And, yeah. and Sean did get to go to Lake Tahoe this year. So yes, yeah, Sean. that's great. So yeah, <laughs> that is. That is amazing. And by the way, thank you for being a brother dealer. You all know that if you, in case you're new, I'm a brother brand ambassador, full disclosure, but I only like to use what I like to use. And so I'm grateful to have been with them for so long. So thank you for being a dealer. So the, the story that I found the most interesting before I get into the cruise, uh, how did you two meet? Okay. So uh, we homeschooled <laughs> our kids and my daughter was, uh, had an interest in sewing and designing. And at the time, Sean's Sewing Center had a uh, an, a store here in Branson, and so I my store. <laughs> I reached out. Yeah. Phyllis ran the store. I reached out. And I didn't connected. teach kids. No, no, and I. She wouldn't give up. I wish Anna was here, but <laughs> yeah. um. She so was, yeah, I called several times, and we we got yeah, worked out. She was twelve, and Anna and her just became best friends. Honestly, they just connected. It was someone she and my daughter needed in her life at the time. I really believe that. And so it just became that friendship. You know, mm -hmm. they did it for several years until the store, you you guys closed the store here and just focused on the one in Springfield. Yeah. And, but it's been yeah. an ongoing relationship. So since then she's been Cecil seamstress, uh, which if you don't know, my husband, his name is Cecil on the show. So, and my little boy is also one of the weirdos. He's not, a boy anymore. <laughs> he's not at the time he was really little, but he's, I'm afraid he's he 17 like, now. So cute. Yeah. He was, he was, yeah. yeah. He was, he was a little miniature. Um, so she sewn their, their costumes for the last, you know, five years. Right or more, yeah. or more yeah, six before, at least. Yeah, six or, yeah. So uh, that brings us to the sewing end of it. Our theater, we host a cruise each year. And so uh, any of our fans that want to come travel with us, we take all of our entertainers and their families, and then we do private shows on, on the ship all week long. And it's really just a great experience. It's, it's really neat. And so one of the years that we were on the ship, I believe it was, it's been five years ago, um, we couldn't get conference rooms. And so when we got on the ship, we were looking around and we couldn't figure out why we couldn't get conference rooms. Well, we look in and there's, it's filled with sewing machines. And so I looked at my daughter and I was like, gosh, that would be so much fun. That would just be the neatest thing. And so that's kind of where I think something spawned. <laughs> and so over the years, it's been an idea of ours. We thought, oh, it's just such a great idea. You know, it's really an untapped market and just so fun. So we approached just this year, uh, we've talked about it. The first time we said yes. <laughs> we've talked about it for a few years. We've just thrown around the idea, but you know, both of us just not sure really where to go. And, and of course, we've gotten a lot more experience on our end taking cruises and planning them, my husband and I. And so uh, we we talked them into it this year. And then I think that's the door. Uh, like I was telling you earlier, Angela, I feel like I I stepped through a doorway and then God opened about five more because after that, it was like a domino effect yeah. of of everything that came together. Brother sewing yeah. machines, they're sending a, an instructor and then we we have you. And well, if she asked me, she goes, if you could have anybody as a name. And I go, well, I'm going to reach for the stars. I want Angela Wolf. Yeah. And yeah. That's exactly how the meeting went. Yeah. And, and I was like, Angela. And she's got no clue. Angela. <laughs> and so I'm like, so I go home and I start doing some research. And first, I, I think this was one of the things I told you. I'm obsessed with your logo. It's just, <laughs> I love it. It just fits together. And then just seeing your presence and what you bring to the table. Um, we just really thought it was a great match. And so uh, I feel like this team, we're not driving this ship in a way. I feel like this team has been brought together by by somebody else because, you know, with our experience and then you have the the just greatest brother brick and mortar store around because we have people, you guys have people from every states all around, around that drive down. in because of their customer service and because of their ability to repair and through COVID, I, I remember going into their store and their store was lined with sewing machines because, of course, it was a resurgence of sewing. You know, people were right. home doing that again. 
and 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 people were bringing it to them because they could actually do the repairs um and so and then you and then and then the brother instructors that we have it's just i i don't think i could have made this up myself i feel like this was just all part of the plan and i've been so impressed at allowing you guys to do what you do best and coming up with all the projects and things like that and then you know us doing everything on the back burner as far as the preparations and the planning and the the communication with the ship and things like that it's just it's been a really neat experience i can't wait to do it every year yes <laughs> I, so I had to share you um, your experience with cruises and Phyllis and Sean Sewing Center. The combination of both are is the reason that I said yes. At first, you when you called, I was like, nope, no, I don't do cruises. And you're like, okay. And then my husband was, was like, sitting you here. Fish. You like to fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, we can set that up. Yeah. <laughs> So, so when was sitting here for both phone calls, which he's usually not in my office all the time, he just happened to be for both calls. And when you had said something about fishing, I looked at Wynn and he's just like, you know, like, whatever. So then he listened to everything. Then the next call he listened, he's like, she really knows what she's doing with these cruises. I go, I think so. I think she does. And you know, and that was really what maybe changed my mind because number one, I, I've heard horror stories from some of my friends we and I'm to. on a boat all the time. I was like, I don't need to go on a boat. But then I was thinking, okay, the camaraderie and going to these places and being able to hang out for a whole week. I think it's just amazing. So, uh, well, I never could have um, prepared myself I, as a little girl to think what I would be doing, first of all, in this situation. Um, yeah. And then uh, the cruising. You know, I've been over well over 20 cruises myself all through my life. And uh, it's something that I feel safe doing. And it's to be really honest, I know uh, even some people think there's taboo with taking your children, but that's something we did at a very young age with our kids. And we felt very safe about it because we weren't comfortable sticking our kids in taxi cabs and going to have to get a meal. You know, in this situation, we had to push an elevator button to get our babies to have a five course meal. And uh, <laughs> it just became, it just became a really easy way for our family to travel. And, and then this is so funny. We started looking at our walls at home. I don't think we've had a professional picture taken in years because we always get them done on the cruise. <laughs> we, we have all of our cruise pictures every year, you know, hanging on our walls. So we've never had to go into a, a photographer's studio. Wait and, a minute. Do they have like a, what, photo booths? Or do they just come around and take a photo? Like You'll have formal nights. You know, there's two formal nights that you'll have. And they'll have all the just nicest backgrounds and professional photographers set up all over the ship. So you can pick your background and, and, and the photographers have always been really great. And then you can just go into their photography studio, pick out the package you want, and there you go. They just make it really, really easy. Pretty much everything is handed to you on a silver platter, literally. <laughs> and that's what's nice about cruising is they want it to be the safest um, possible way to travel. And they do a really good job at it. You know, there's always stories out there, but it's, that's going to be in any genre in any travel situation you get into. But that's one thing that I feel like that's where we come in handy is that now I'd never would have guessed that I would be putting cruises together. And now <laughs> our first cruise that we put together, the very first cruise that we put together for the theater, we had 900 people. And so you talk about, matter of fact, we put a cap on it. We stopped selling because we were a little nervous because you really want to keep quality control. And that's so important to us here at the theater and anything that we take on, it has to be perfect <laughs> or at least strive for perfection. <laughs> so, um, and you know, there are, of course, there's always things that come up, but it's being able to handle it in the situation that you're in and, and moving forward. And there's always a solution. And so that's why this one's really special is because now we have all this, you know, this this cruise that we're doing this year, we have 600 people at the moment. And we actually cruise this new ship. I haven't been on this ship, but we will be cruising on it January 21st. So I'll be on this ship to be able to really scope things out and get a feel for it before we take off February 11th. So that's but like awesome. Said, I never could have guessed that I would be doing this, but somehow my travels, my personal vacations, and then you include the theater and the things that we put together. And now we have this. And I don't yeah. feel like 
there's been sewing cruises in the past, but nothing like this one. We've never had a brother centered cruise with a team like this. And that's what I'm so excited about. I'm so proud to be a part of it. I'm very excited about this. So for there's a lot of the Wolf Pack, just like myself, that have never been on a cruise. And so a lot of the information that you gave me about the cruise, I would have never known. And a lot of it you're taking care of, which I think people will be so grateful. So why don't you tell a little bit about how you have this plan? Because I didn't even know, like, I didn't know any of this until you told me. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I would have gotten off that ship. And I would have been like, wait a minute. I wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so wait, why don't you explain Right. And then, you know, as with all travel situations, there's always these surprise charges or surprise, you know, oh, you've got to do this at the end. That's what we want to take out of. We would rather have a lump sum and take care of everything for you um, as far as like the tips and the, the little hidden charges and things like that that the cruise comes up with. That way you're not at the end of your trip after, after having a great time. And, and then all of a sudden you're stuck with tips and taxes and all these other things that's all included so that it's very, it's a very seamless process and it's a very seamless trip. You basically book it and we're doing all the hard stuff for you. And, and it's, it's not that it's hard. It's just, there, it's a lot to take on sometimes. And to me, I feel like, as a matter of fact, this is funny. One of our ticket office girls has never cruised before. And she is wanting to go on the Presley cruise just because it's easier to travel with people that have been there, done that and know what to do. And that's where we come in. There's always going to be things that come up that bring stress to your trip. Well, that's what we do. We take care of the stress. So, uh, and, and to be honest, there are gonna be things that, are, that come up on this one that I've never dealt with before. But we're gonna be lugging lots of beautiful sewing machines onto this ship the day we uh, get on it. And that's, but I've got, what's nice is we believe in child labor and my kids, everybody's gonna be there. <laughs> Everyone's going to be all hands on deck, literally. But I'm so excited because I feel like that's going to be the easy part. You know, the sewing and the setting up, it's it's all the hidden stuff. And that's what going on a boutique style cruise, it takes all the static away, you know, mm -hmm. and that's that's what we do. So speaking of ships, I had a lot of questions about. So is this just a ship just for the sewers? Oh, or just a big cruise ship where you still get all the benefit of a big cruise and the sewing. Yes. So I'm not sure if you're getting a good feed. You cut out just a little bit. So I'm going to give it just a second to catch up. Are we good? Yeah. And I'll repeat that because I think there's another storm going through. How <laughs> oh, lucky. So can you, hear, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Everyone wants to know what size ship is this? Is this just for the sewers or is it a huge cruise ship where you get all the benefit of a cruise and the sewings like the extra for bonus? So this is a big ship and this is one of their newer ships, which I'm really excited to see because I haven't been on this particular one, but that's why I'm glad we're going just a few weeks before so I can get uh, get a get a get a yeah, gist yeah. of it. Yeah. So it, it's a big ship. So you have all the entertainment and that's something that we don't want to get in the way of the, the sewing part is going to be this little extra fun thing to be able to uh, travel with like-minded people, be able to travel with this little group family that we're coming up with. And, but yet being able to, if your class isn't happening at the time, you get to go see a show that the cruise is putting on, or you get to go to bingo, or you get to, they, there are so many activities. There's a, I've been talking to a lady that's going on the ship and she's interested in the thermal spa. There's a thermal, this is one of the only ships that has one of these. And I'm so excited because she got me excited about it. I'm going to get me a package for it too. It's it's just got all the, the saunas and things like that. It's really Wait, hot. wait, a thermal spa, like as in like freezing cold hot. or really hot? <laughs> Real well, it's I. I'm guessing it sounds hot, but I, it's saunas and things like that, you know. And I'm thinking infrared something, you know. But uh, it's something I haven't experienced before, so I'm going to make sure and do that on our ship so that I can uh, translate that knowledge. But uh, it, it's definitely one of those things, and that's like with Presley Cruise. We our shows aren't at the same time as the cruise shows because you don't want to miss out. These shows are so good. And they're state of the art, everything they have. I mean, the ship is gorgeous. And yes, yes, I'm so excited. Look at the back end of that. And a That's lot of the shows, 
from what I understand, and I don't know if this ship has it, but they have a water show on the back end of that. That's that's a pool oh, on the back end. A picture of it somewhere on that. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I don't well, see any fishing rods hanging off the back though. <laughs> Well, we are. We will for sure have to get you on your own charter ship to go, uh, especially if Wit's going. If if he's in, we we're or is it Win or Wit? Yeah, Win. W I N N. Yes, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, done, I've said that twice. Yeah. So um, we have a Wit here on an, on stage. He's our our base our band leader. So it made me think that. Sorry, Win. But it, you guys will be fishing, and and it's I'm you're used to deep sea fishing, so it's gonna be great. I'm just looking forward to going on the cruise, relaxing, being able to sew a little bit, enjoy some sun, read a book. I mean, just like the things that I don't do all the time. That's what I'm really looking forward to, and the camaraderie, which you just mentioned, which I know a lot of the Wolfpack is coming. Uh, they've already gotten tickets and I have a few that have said, I really want to hear about this because I'd like to go, but I'm a little nervous and I want to see it, what's included, how it works. So for somebody who signs up, Kelly, um, what do you have like just a package where they sign up? They don't have to worry about anything else? Yeah. Basically, you call uh, the number, uh, which or you can go to SoFunCruise.com and you sign up and then that's done. You've got your you got you pay for your cruise and then you get your sewing kit and then we do the rest. And and any questions husband. you have, we are on hand all the time. What'd you they say? Can take their husbands. Oh yes. Well, it just so happens that our the the cruise date is on, during Valentine's. So we kind of figured, what better way to spend Valentine's than a husband sending their wife on a sewing cruise? You know, <laughs> what? And that way he can relax and read and do his thing. And us ladies can do what we, and I think that's what's so great about even the Presley cruise. It's just so nice to travel with like-minded people. You know, a lot of our customers and the people that we entertain, they, they like a certain kind of clean entertainment. And that is what we specialize in. And some of the cruises shows can get a little saucy sometimes. So that's why a lot of times they don't go to the other shows. They only go to ours, you know, and their private shows for the people that are going. And and I, I think the food is probably my favorite thing <laughs> because there's so much variety and uh, it's, it's in the package. Um, there are places that you can pay for to go to a special dinner if you want something different. But as a whole, that, and that's what we're trying to organize and communicate with the ship is to keeping our group together. So we may not be at the same table eating, but you're going to be in the same room together, close by all your friends. And every night, that's where we meet at 530 to eat our, this, like I said, a five course meal. And it's just it's just an experience that you really can't explain until you get there. And, and then you see it and you feel it and you enjoy it. It's going to be so much fun. So somebody who's going, uh, especially those that have signed up as well, what should they bring? Um, I, you mentioned a couple formal nights. What is expected on a cruise? What should you bring to wear? What should you do? Like that kind of thing. Are there special well, things that you have to do or how does that work? No, you know, you can pretty much wear what you want. Now the formal nights, they do request no denim and no shorts. Um, and it is kind of fun. Everybody gets really decked out and that's only two nights of the trip. And, you know, you can get pictures taken and they have special events on those nights, um, you know, like captains or d'oeuvres. I mean, there's just a lot to it. There's so much going. There's no way you can ever tap into all the resources, but you basically get to pick and choose what fits you. And you don't have to go to dinner. You don't have to go to the formal dinner. If you don't like that and you would rather go to the Windjammer, which is more of a buffet style and you don't want to go at 530, well, you can wait and go at the time that works for you or your your spouse or your friend and, and you can hit the, the buffet. The, being hungry is not something you will ever have to worry about on the ship. <laughs> there is food everywhere and usually ice sculptures with it. And, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's really neat. It's a lot to take in, but it's, it's, it's neat. That's awesome. So about the sewing, since that's what a lot of our fans are going to be coming there for, uh, what are we, what are the plans for sewing? They don't have to sew the whole time. And I think somebody asked that, what if I want to enjoy the sites and how many days at sea? 
and where are we going? And if you would just touch a little bit on that, because we also are working on a charity project, which I think will be very interesting for some people. Yes. So the first two days, what, what I like about this itinerary are the first two days are at sea. So we are just going to be, we have small classes all through the day. We're starting at eight o'clock in the morning and we have all, all through to open sewing as late as you want at night. We have two conference rooms and we've joined those together and that's where we will have everything set up. That'll be our little hub and our little home for the, you know, on the seas for that week. But we will be embarking on projects all week long. Now, when we're at the days that we're on the islands, um, we have classes scheduled in the mornings. But uh, my suggestion, I don't always like to be the first one off the ship in the morning. Some people might like that. And that's that's where this comes into play. It's really what fits you. But for those that don't like to fight the crowd and be the first off the ship, we have a class in the morning scheduled. And then we won't schedule anything in the afternoon. That way everyone can enjoy the places we're going because they are really neat and they're safe. And, um, you know, of course, if you like the beach, you know, there's so many different things that are accessible. Um, one of the places we're going, they have linen stores everywhere. So that's always fun to hit those. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and that's what they specialize in. And I, I remember going as a young girl and and making a, mem a core memory with a lady there. Um, but yeah, that's what we we were going to be sewing our little hearts out those first couple of days. And then as soon as we start hitting islands, we'll back off a little bit, but then we'll still have things morning and evening, like right before dinner. So that if people are wanting to come back in a little early from the islands, we'll have like a late afternoon class. So it's gonna be uh, able to fit everyone's schedule and they can pretty much sign up for what they want and as little as they want. And, uh, but yeah, there will always be something going on in the sewing conference room though. If, and we will be adaptable. So if there's projects that aren't finished or so. if you don't wanna go to the island, I, it, when the kids were little, we didn't always get off on the, the islands. If we had already been there, um, we didn't like to swim when the swimming pools were super full. So we would wait to go to the islands and it would clear off and we'd have the pool to ourselves. So there oh, are, like that. That, you know, if you have your frequent cruisers that don't want to go to the island, they can stay on the ship that day. And if that's a situation, we will be ready and waiting. Like she, she, she keeps telling me I have to get off the ship and I just want to sew. I, I know I want, I want her to enjoy it too, but she's like, no, I'm not leaving the conference room. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm liking I'm liking the conference room and I'm liking an empty pool. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes. So there's little tricks of the trade like that that we've learned through the years. But um, at the same time, if you haven't been to these stops, they're well worth getting off the ship and seeing that. And and to touch base, I if anyone's looking into it. Um, there's an orphanage in Honduras called the Sandy Bay Lighthouse Ministries, and that's who we're working with. That they have some, they have about 18 children at the moment, and it's a husband and wife that take care of them, and they're always in need of something. And I think my heart has been moved just by bringing this up. What better way on what? to give back love on Valentine's Day. And Honduras is our first stop on Valentine's Day. So the orphanage is gonna meet us at the port and anything and everything that we've sewn or put together, we're gonna be able to meet them there and, and give that to them. And I think what's touched my heart is the people that are already going are already asking and they're already starting. So we've decided to go ahead in just a few months to go ahead and get together a Facebook group, which is what I'm gathering right now. I've talked to some of you out there and some of you are already on the, the Facebook group already. It's private. But uh, Angela, you would be proud. I put it together by myself. And if you, any of you don't know, I've been on Facebook before. And so this is all new to me. So be patient. Um, I'm getting there. But we uh, put that together and we're going to have some live sewing for the orphanage and different projects and ideas that we're coming up with that you wouldn't think that orphans would need. And, and, and we're really excited about it. Uh, and I do feel like that's the heart of sewing. How many people sew for themselves, to be really honest? I, they usually are always sewing for someone else. And I feel like this yeah. really taps into that. So I see a couple questions about, do you have to bring your own sewing machines? Is it Deborah that asked that? Do you have to bring your own sewing machines? Do you have to bring your own sewing tools? What should you bring on the sewing side? Oh, that's what we take care of. We're bringing the sewing machines for you. Now I have known of women that will bring their sewing machines to keep in their room. 
and, and that's up to you. But we, for the classes that we are holding, we will have the sewing machines there for you in the conference room, the supplies, we will have the fabric, everything will be ready to go to sew. Um, but like I said, a lot of women will take their personal machine just to keep back in the room so they can go sew more. <laughs> yeah, so that's a exactly. Now, if, so I see somebody saying, are you only, uh, are we only sewing that project for Honduras? And like, what are we going to make? Or is there going to be separate classes? So uh, I'm still working on my exact projects. I know I'm an, I want us to have a really cool tote bag at the beginning because that way you can carry it around when you go shopping. I wanted to do a bathing suit wrap and I'm still figuring out the logistics of it because it's garment wise and there's not a lot of room. So I've got like 10 ideas for my projects, but I haven't <laughs> narrowed them down yet. So I can't release that. And <laughs> but we're, in, we're in the same boat because we keep coming up with projects and then we'll be like, this is great. And then we'll find something even better. So I right. have a feeling this is all going to be tweaked as the months get closer, but I have no doubt every project that we've come up with has been so unique and, and kind of cruisy themed and, and uh, mm -hmm. summery vibes, um, but yet small enough to pack home and take home, you know, and, and, right. and you're not bogged down. So there's a lot to take into consideration with these projects. And so uh, we keep uh, kind of tweaking it, but that's been the fun part for us is really honing in on what we want to do. And every single uh, teacher is bringing something different to the table. You are bringing this this garment idea and and but yet it's not super garment focused, you know, like the hard stuff. Right. And you've got Phyllis that's got these little trinkety projects. I like little projects. And then <laughs> as far as uh, what we're going to do for the orphanage, Tina Bartlemy came up with just a really sweet idea. I never knew that orphans, one of the most important things for them that they want is luggage. How, would you ever oh, think that? Would you ever guess that? Because a lot of times they have to leave quickly and they're having to shove everything in trash bags. And it says they mm -hmm. want to pack their stuff. So obviously we can't make uh, luggage for them, but Tina brought up a great idea that what if we embroidered um, pillowcases? So that's something that they always have that they can put their stuff into and it, it isn't necessarily luggage, but it's something that belongs to them that they can carry their stuff with and it's not a trash bag. And, and you know, another idea that we came up with is a, um, what did she call it? A, a love bag where it's like a, basically an overnight bag that you would take and set on the counter if you were to travel. So it would be zippered and but we thought, let's make this and then fill it with things that they need, which is always toothpaste, toothbrushes, any kind of toiletries like that. So not only are we going to be sewing something specific for them, but we're going to be filling it with things that they also need at the same time. So those are just a few ideas. And we are open. We, we want ideas from everyone that's going. I mean, that's the fun part about this is let's make this great. Well, that's very cool. Some of my ladies that are coming, they're wanting to get together at the store and start sewing stuff that we could take that it's already done and we take with us. Right. So that's a, if you've got room to tuck something extra in your suitcase yeah. or I guess probably they could ship it to us and we could pack it with this own. Yeah, absolutely. We the, can the do more, it the way. more, the better that we can do, but yeah, we're planning on some, some. So here's more. a question from Alice. Hey, Alice, nice to see you on here. And she says, if I can't go on that cruise, but I want to sew for the orphanage, do you want the, do you want the wolf pack to make some, uh, pillowcases I, as well and ship them to you in advance? I think that's precious. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, anything, it, and this is, again, what has moved me so much is this is the heart of sewing. I really feel mm -hmm. like this is what, this is where the sewing community shines is when people are in need and, and absolutely we will get it to them for sure. So Alice, since that's the case, uh, I will get with the Wolfpack in our, one of our next newsletters. As soon as I have information on how, what exactly that we're going to do, what we want, um, I will keep you posted and you guys can all ship them to me and I'll ship one big box to them before the cruise uh, to you. So, sound Special. good? Thank you, Liz. That's a great idea. Actually, maybe I should bring it in an extra suitcase so I can shop at that linen store and I don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> or something very expandable. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> all right. What other questions do you all have to do? Uh, oh, Diana, 
That's a good question. Where are we leaving from and where are we going? We only mentioned Honduras. <laughs> yes. Well, we leave out of Galveston, out of Galveston, Texas, which they just built a new port, which I'm, I haven't seen it since, uh, you know, they built it during COVID, um, which we weren't traveling at the time. But I'm, it, it's, it's supposed to be just really magnificent. So I'm excited to see it myself. And we leave February 11th. And then we're going to the stops are Honduras the first day on Valentine's. And then we go to Puerto Costa Maya, Mexico, and then Cozumel, which is a great place to stop. And then another cruising day. So we have three full cruising days on the ship that we are going to be able to sew and just have camaraderie and fellowship and enjoy what we love doing with everybody else that loves doing the same thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Like That's awesome. And then have a fashion show too, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And actually, I've been going through some of my gowns and my garments. I save almost everything. Um, a lot of it doesn't fit anymore, but the stuff I've made for 100 years, <laughs> actually the last 50 years, I save. And so I'm going to pick out my favorite items. I have some new ones too. And uh, this way, when we have a fashion show, it's just going to be for people that have signed up for the sewing. It won't be open to everyone. You get your own private show. You can touch the fabrics. I will do it. The fashion show, just like I've done all my fashion shows in the past, before I ever even got into teaching sewing, I designed clothes for 25 years and I would host these fabulous fashion shows. And so I think you're going to love it. In fact, when you mentioned you want to do a fashion show, it's like, oh, I miss doing those so much. They're so much fun. But having a fashion show with sewers is going to be even more fun because yeah. when I tell you a technique, it won't be like a stare. <laughs> It'll be like, right. you'll know what it is. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm so, so excited um, too myself. I, I've been looking for, well, I mean, each day that I look at that we've laid out and have all the projects, you know, and the classes all set up, I get excited. And then I look at the next day and I'm like, oh, wait, that's going to be a really good one, too. And then I look at the next day and I'm like, wait, that's even better. You know, so it's just been a fun, fun process. And I'm so honored that you're coming along and, and going with us and going to this is our maiden voyage. And so it's going to be a real memory maker to be a part of the first time we do this. The first it's going to be so much so much fun. In fact, a uh, little, I think I might have mentioned this to you, but I don't know. I said, uh, what did you, I missed that last part. What are you laughing about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The love boat Valentine cruise. Love boat cruise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, when you asked me to go on this cruise, and of course I said no right away. I always say no to everything right away. And then I think about it because it's easier to go back and say yes than to say no. So yes. uh, I had just been talking to my husband the beginning of 2023 i was like you know i just i'm i'm not saying i'm bored because i'm not bored i'm busier than crazy but i want to do something different um something out of the box and so we would go some through some ideas and then your email came through and i was like well that's weird <laughs> i know so that's, you, weird. that's been the same on my end is that you know mm -hmm. you 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 go into like when i did that email it took me three days to send it. You know, I just, I wanted to think about it. I wanted to process what I was doing, what we were taking on. And also just, you know, I knew it was a shot in the dark, but that's where I feel like we're not driving this ship. You know, I feel like this is some other entity going on that, that this is supposed to happen. And, and so it just, to me, the, with your experience and what you do, with my experience and what I do, and your experience and what you do, it's just such a powerful team coming together to make something really great. It is definitely the A team, the A team. You're welcome, Alice. So a uh, couple more questions for you. Glenda says, do you think it'd be possible when it gets closer, if we could get names for the kids? Now the orphanage, the names might change though, because if they, so that we could maybe ask them to find out if there's anything specific they want on them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we wondered if we could keep it simple to even like a, um, cause we thought about putting their names on it and we thought that would be something that we have to wait till last minute. We could always construct the pillowcases or have something together, like a design that, you know, you want to put on it, but then at the very last minute we could either put a letter or their name and the orphanage will know, uh, especially if one is going to be leaving and, and moving, they'll know that fairly quick, you know, they would know that about two weeks out, I would feel like, and I can t discuss that with them more um, to mm -hmm. see how, what's the latest possible date for us to put names and, and if they know, 
what they're getting and who they're getting and the kids that will be leaving. So I feel like they'll be able to guide us on that. And it just turns mm -hmm. out, it's funny. I found out I have a cousin in Honduras. <laughs> so, you know, you think you're related. We got flies on the stage. Um, I feel like I I always have relatives everywhere, but I never guessed I would have one in Honduras that could actually do some legwork for us there if we if we need anything done. She's there and ready to help us with the orphanage too. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So Brenda says I want to go on the cruise. I added that. I don't know, Brenda. You might want to go on the cruise, but she said, oh, maybe she already signed up. She thought she had to buy a food package, but doesn't sound like it. Does she need to buy a food package? No, the food is all included. That's what we loved about the cruise is because, you know, anytime you go on vacation, food is a huge expense. Mm -hmm. um, right. And this is all included. And this is not just food. This is like um, state of the art, five star, you know, course, five course meals. Um, and the accommodations, the decorations, everything about the ship is just beautiful. Um, it, you, the drink package, we do suggest that if you are going to be drinking or even if you want sodas, that is definitely an expense that you want to get a drink package for. It will save you money in the long run um, because the only thing that the, the cruise does provide is water, tea, um, and that's about it. Uh, the rest you're going to have to pay for. So if you drink anything outside of that, I suggest the drink package. Coffee? <laughs> oh, coffee. Yes, coffee is included. <laughs> Not the specialty <laughs> one, because they do have a Starbucks style on the ship, but those you have to pay for. But regular okay. coffee is included. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> drink, drink package is a must. <laughs> well, yeah. and if it's you money and i think somebody who doesn't go on a cruise doesn't realize i did i did not know that until a friend one day told me that she got back from a cruise and she said whatever you do get the drink package i was like okay she goes you won't believe how much it cost me i was like oh okay yeah and, and that's <laughs> happened to us before and that's part of in our younger days uh of cruising um before we had kids of course you know we would probably partake in some fun activities, you know, more than we probably do now. And, and at the end of the, you, there's no cash on the ship. Everything is done with your card, your CPAS card. So uh, you don't realize what you're, what you're adding up and what you're raking in. And at the end of the ship, at the end of the trip, you're responsible for taking care of that. So you don't want to be having a great time drinking at night, not realizing because these drinks aren't cheap. Uh, and then get to the end of your trip and be like, wow, I don't remember ordering that many, <laughs> you know, so, you know, that would be bad. Yeah. Uh, Glenda, how are you? So Glenda is, she is the cruise guru. I would say Glenda, how many cruises have you been on every time? Last year, she went all the way around the world. I believe uh, her and her cruise. husband Lovely. are amazing. Uh, she said she made a statement earlier. If we fish off the back, we'll be banned on cruises for life. Don't worry, Glenda. We're not going to fish off the back. <laughs> but yeah, I know I made you laugh. So say hi to Pete. So, uh, <laughs> but your phone thought you were driving. That's really funny. My steps go off when we're fishing, and it looks like I'm <laughs> the most exercised woman in the world. <laughs> well, the, That's funny. The That's long funny. arm makes your Fitbit happy. Oh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> you're oh, taking funny. steps when you, yes, you are yeah <laughs> that's funny i've never heard of that <laughs> yeah that's great well that's when a, my, my husband's a golfer and so anytime we used to go on trips before you know he would always just miss that golf they always have a putt you know like a putt putt course on there but you know of course he wants the big swings and a lot of times they'll have a net but back in the day when we first started cruising they would allow him to hit golf balls off the back of the ship oh, wow. so it's funny you say that about having a having a fishing rod <laughs> off the back you know <laughs> oh that's funny oh, oh yeah that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing okay so marsh has a quick question so well, and also this came up a few times with somebody who missed, almost missed their cruise, recommending flying in a day early possibly. And are there any arrangements or how would you plan, how should they plan to go from the airport to the area of the cruise? Any suggestions on that? Yeah, so we will be having people that live in the area that drive in. They're comfortable with getting there that day. But if you're going to be flying or driving from a distance, we suggest getting there a day before. And we have a hotel that reserved with rooms enough for all of us uh, that uh, we would like to, you know, for no, for the people that aren't driving in, we'd like that to be the hotel that we all meet at. And that way we can kind of get our trip started a day early and, and get together and go over some things. Um, you can start boarding, I believe, after one o'clock. Uh, the ship takes off around 430. 
So that's plenty of time for everybody to get on the ship and, and we will have the transportation from the hotel. So also anyone that wants to come to the hotel, we can all, they can always be transferred over to the ship with us if they wanted to park there. So those are definitely de great questions. And, and if you have any other questions like that, just reach out to me and and we'll get the answers for you. Facebook yeah. yeah, that sounds good. So, and as we get closer, we can come up with those details as well. But I always like to book things early to make sure it's ready. And I definitely agree with flying in a day early, especially if you had a storm like today, I would have never made it. And also uh, get your passports. In fact, yes. WINS expires next month. And I was like, did you get that renewed yet? They're so far, they're backlogged. And he yeah. went in and actually paid the expedited right now because they said it's going to be at least three months before he gets it. So I told okay. him if he doesn't get his passport to try to get out of this cruise, we're going to have a big long chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Tell him he'll hear words from you too. No. <laughs> Yeah, so there are a, a few different ways. Um, the cruise does allow you, this is a closed loop cruise, meaning we take off from America and we arrive in America. So you can travel with a birth certificate and ID. And also another thing called a passport card, which is cheaper than a passport. But uh, those two things are only good for land and sea. So uh, say you get there and you have a medical emergency you are unable to fly home without an actual passport. So okay. we always say if you want to be extra careful, make sure you have your passport. But if that is not a concern for you, the passport card works just fine or the birth certificate and ID work fine as well in this situation. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, Brenda, I have heard that sometimes you have to have one that isn't expiring like the next week or something. It has to have... I don't know, they keep changing it anyways. Uh, Angie, I have a passport card for Canada. Oh yeah, I, I just have a passport. <laughs> and I just, all I know is that I really wanted to go to the Bahamas during COVID and mine had expired by like a month. And I was like, what? Well, I didn't know COVID was gonna hit, but then it took like forever to get it back. So I missed the Bahamas trip. <laughs> well, and there's also, if you check into it, I know, um, and, and I don't quote me, but uh, I was talking to my sister-in-law. She had a situation with her passport. She was able to go to Little Rock, Arkansas, and you can get it the same day, which is, is I, I don't know all the details. So if anybody wants more details on that, I can always do some some digging and find out. <laughs> but I honestly, my passport's expired too. So I always, I was like, all, my whole family, our passport's expired during COVID. And so that's what I'm working on at the at the moment as well. So I kind of thought that sounded like a fun little road trip. So I'll just go down the road <laughs> and hit some horse races. And oh, <laughs> yeah. I think this is going to be so much fun. I'm reading the comments and some people say they can't make it this year. Maybe we'll do it next year. You never know. It just depends how good it is. But this right. is going to be so much fun. And I really so appreciate both of you coming on because I wanted everyone to see the energy and the creativity and how fun the team that we've put together, you've put together, I'm just going to put we in there. <laughs> I, 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 take no, I take no credit whatsoever. Like I said, <laughs> this is not me doing this, yeah. but I'm just so thankful that I'm able to coordinate and put it together and that you guys said yes. <laughs> it's just, it's just amazing. Yeah. And you know, the bonus for it is that uh, for me uh, and for other people, but because it's going to be brother machines, which yes. is hands down. So I saw somebody say, well, what kind of machines are you bringing? Well, you probably don't know yet, but um, I could probably guess. Yeah, like, we will are be you having any luminaires. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't know how many at the moment. As, as of right now, it's around 10 of the luminaires. Yeah. Um, That's a lot. Will be the, what is the BPs? Well, depending on, you know, conventions in two weeks. So we don't know what new machines are coming out. So we have, it, we have a fly. Yeah, it, it might be top line 10, 10 luminaires and 10 top line sewing, or it could be, yeah, combo, we'll know combos. We'll uh, know more when it gets yeah. closer. And then we want to bring, you know, a serger or two and a scan and cut or two, and so that we can play with those two. Yeah, because we could put the names on this with scan and cut and vinyl. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. And we'll find out about the name thing. I saw somebody in here say they probably won't give you the names for privacy, but. 
if it's just going private, you never know. So we'll let you guys know. If not, maybe we can come up with some creative words like love and hope and right. uh, stuff like or even that, an so. initial. You know, if they don't feel comfortable giving names, they can give us an initial for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't mm -hmm. imagine uh, if it's just a first name, they might not. Uh, we'll we'll ask them and see. That's a good point. That's something we should check on. Yeah. So Glenda has once. Are you selling the machines at the end of the cruise? Yes, we will be. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> So, uh, and so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's another perk about going on the cruise. And uh, Sean, Sean will be coming as well. And Sean is the, we call him the machine whisperer at the store because he can, he can hear and tell you what's wrong. And, and, and if you, if you call and you keep your mouth shut and just at, tell him what's, what's going on and don't embellish yeah. and talk over him, he will nine times out of 10, six over the phone what's going on. That's what's so amazing about this sewing center yeah. is because the, their customer service is, unmatched and he's going to do a, a class like a machine maintenance or, yeah. or type talk about needles and and that makes making your machine work good yeah. and all those good things how to and he services all machines so if you don't have a brother and you've got a faf or a genome or whatever he's going to know what to tell you yeah. to make that work right yeah and how to wow to, it's longevity yeah. he knows how to tell you how to take care of it things to do maintenance that you if need he tells to me to go do cartwheels in the parking lot so my machine machine's gonna work i'm gonna go do cartwheels in the parking lot. might not be pretty but I'm gonna do it. yeah because yeah. he knows what he's doing <laughs> he's good. so much fun so i'm gonna bring this up i left the link for you all you can go and you can see the costs and all the questions and you can call them if you have other questions because you're you're so helpful on a lot of the, and especially if you've never been on a cruise plus yeah. it Kelly's so much fun to talk to. I don't know if they're going to get to talk to you or not, but. <laughs> well, they, they sure can. And when we, when, when we get more of the private group, I'm going to give out my phone numbers so that they can have that and call at any time. But this, uh, our team that we have with Paradise Travel is amazing. Um, be patient with them. They are not only doing, they're also doing our cruise as well, which I said at the moment is, um, you know, at 600 people. So they've got a, a definite influx of calls that come in, but they will get to you. And if you have any trouble getting through, let Angela know. She'll contact me or give you give them my number. You're you're welcome, Angela, to to share my number with anyone that's interested in the cruise. And I will answer right away or leave me a message and, and we'll take care of it. Just don't that's call awesome. And <laughs> yes, we do. We do work at night. So I, uh, the seven o'clock and eight o'clock might go to voicemail. <laughs> yeah. So I saw somebody saying, wait a minute, the Presley cruise, if I want to go on that one, which yes, is different than that, this one, that's well, in January. Yeah, yeah, that's January 21st. Yeah. And it's, it's just a, it's a great time. And, you know, I, I'll, I'll let it a little secret. We've been thinking about what, wouldn't it be fun to con not combine it but go during the same time. But it, it, doing that, we would have to find a ship that has enough conference rooms to mm -hmm. serve the Presleys and serve the, the sewing aspect of it. But that would be fun to be able to cooperate and have a couple of shows open to the people going on the sewing cruise. Yeah. So you never know, you just never know. Yeah. <laughs> We're hoping, our fingers were crossed that maybe you would be doing a show during the sewing show. I know, I know. And that was kind of an afterthought. And later we're like, wow, but you know, there wasn't enough, uh, we checked into it, there wasn't enough conference room. So it wasn't a possibility. But the gentleman that runs Paradise Travel for us, uh, that's doing all this behind the scenes work, <laughs> he was our band leader for years. And he's an accomplished musician on the piano. And so we're, we, he doesn't realize it, but during some of our open sews, he's going to be serenading us some with the piano. <laughs> There's just going to be little I, touches like that, you know, that, that we're going to come up with that are going to be so fun. I love that. I love that. Well, this is going to be, this is so much fun. I definitely have to have you two on again uh, yeah. later in the fall. Cause I know people, yeah. some people get a little nervous booking stuff so early Yes. And then others, maybe their schedule will change and they want to hear what's going on. So if there's still room, um, yeah. but it is limited that's, for how many people can thing. go on this. So this is, a, this is more of a boutique style cruise. So the number is very limited. Um, we want to keep it small. Oh my God, I put so, 20 machines. And there's only so many machines we can bring only on the so ship. so much room for machines to have right. everybody have a chance. Yeah. yeah. And we want to keep it small so that everybody has lots of opportunity to sew. So, and that number is filling up. So that's exciting as well, because you just never know when you embark on a new adventure, how it's going to go. And that number just, as soon as we opened it up, the number kind of took off. 
So it's it's just trickling in and it's it's going to fill up. So but yeah, a lot of people do like to wait until the last minute, which is no problem. Um, hopefully there's room. But if not, I suggest getting the insurance. Um, it takes care of everything. We have an insurance that we we do offer. So if you get that inexpensive and yet it also covers if anything comes up at all. The, uh, mm -hmm. um, if you do not have somebody, a buddy to go with, there are other yes, people that idea. want to go, but there's two people per room. You don't want to pay for the whole room yourself. So Wit's been really good and, and yeah. Greg about pairing people up so yeah. that if you, if you're comfortable with a stranger, you could right. still come and, and have somebody in the room and yeah. share a room. And if you go to the So Fun Cruise Facebook, that's another good way to get to know some of the ladies that are that are already signed up. And I've been talking with them and this is, it's gonna be so fun. They're just precious and excited and ready to go. We have one lady that not only is she celebrating her anniversary, but her birthday. And then there's also Valentine's Day all in one week. <laughs> so <laughs> that's gonna be a fun, fun week. week. Yes, exactly. She's gonna be celebrating all week long, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to post this video for people to watch the replay along with links to um, the Presley's Jubilee, to the sewing cruise and the Facebook groups, things like that. So you can all, if you go to AngelaWolf.com, it'll be up by tomorrow and all the links will be on the blog. Just click on blog. And that way, if you want to go back and review this, you know, I didn't even think about what you just mentioned though, about if you want to share a room that saves a lot of money yes. and and especially even if you don't know the person, if you're both so, it's usually pretty okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, to be honest, you're not in your room that much. You know, you are on the ship walking around doing activities or eating. You really just go to the room to get ready. And if you don't know mm -hmm. that person, you guys can always alternate when you're in the room getting ready. And it's it's that simple. And And you're really there to sleep and throw some clothes on and adventure. <laughs> And there's also different price points. You know, you can get an interior cabin. You can get a, uh, a one that just has like a window so you can actually have an ocean view or you have the ones that have a balcony. So there's all different price points. And there we've we've reserved enough for, you know, everyone to have a little selection. Uh, one of my my kids actually enjoy this room. They they have it on these new ships where there's a a window, a slanted window that looks out over oh. the little Central Park area. In oh, the... I thought you were going to say looked over the ocean. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually on the inside of the ship. <laughs> she got nervous. <laughs> it's vertigo. <Yeah. laughs> but it's, you, you're able to look out. They have shows in the Central Park and you can look out from your room and watch it. That's one of the neatest rooms. Uh, you know, so you're going to see plenty of the ocean by just walking around the ship if you are interested in that kind of a room, you know. Okay, so I just clicked on this side. Someone's asking about prices. It depends which room. But here you go. Uh, help me find a cruising buddy. That's perfect. It pops right up when I went to the page, staterooms and pricing. So the interior rooms are sold out at this point. So scratch that one. Ocean view though, that that's what I would want. I'd want, I would want, well, I'd like a view of it. I just like to have a view, but there's yes. nothing more beautiful than the ocean. In fact, I'm on the water every weekend before sunrise. And I that picture of a sunrise, picture of a sunset, yeah. I, you can't pay for that. I mean, I just call it a touch yeah. of heaven. <laughs> and you can't, you can't, uh, I think one of the things that I always enjoyed my kids saying is that you cannot mimic the color of the water when you're in the deep ocean, you know, when you're out in the middle and it doesn't feel like you feel like you're on a floating city. So it feels mm -hmm. safe. This new ship has a technology that's called, um, bubble stabilizers. So, you know, on the ships I've been on before, no matter how big you usually can feel, you know, when you're in the middle of the ocean, you, you can feel it here and there. But this new technology has really gotten it um, to where people that have any kind of issues with that, they're not having issues on these ships, which I'm glad to hear because I know my mom's trouble with that. Yeah. So and my mom does have trouble with that, but she's gone on cruises in the past and she puts the patch on about a day before we leave and she has no trouble mm -hmm. from then on. So, yeah, there's options. and there's also a patch and also uh, there's been times in the past. Well, I mean, it was out like 10 or 
10 foot seas or something. But I'll, <laughs> if I know it's going to be that rough on our little boat, I'll take a half of a non drowsy Dramamine. And that's usually, don't take the Dramamine that's drowsy though. If it does not say less drowsy, don't take it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You might enjoy your cabin a lot more than you thought. <laughs> but what's nice okay. is these ships have stabilizers they've never had before. And I'm excited because we may not even know we're on That's the water. But That's that awesome. One last question, guys, because our hour is up and I don't want to keep these ladies any longer. But uh, how would you how, she wants to bring her husband? What should she do? Uh, he gets to just go right along with us. Uh, they are our our team will book both of them. Um, he won't have to have the sewing package obviously he gets to go off and have his fun and so yeah we'll take care we, we're we're doing the whole package the sewers and their husbands we have a lot of husbands going a, along as a well lot, a lot of my ladies are bringing husbands yeah so, yeah and sean won't be teaching all the time too so sean will be yeah. floating around there doing yeah need a buddy. and if it looks like we end up having a lot of husbands going we can always come up with some activities for them as well but i have a feeling they're just going to enjoy the freedom and all the activities on the ship, you know. So absolutely. I think, so too. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. And I just want to thank you both for coming on the show today to explain what's happening because it's cool. And I just want to thank you so much for inviting me. And I'm very excited, uh, even though at first I didn't sound like I was excited, but it didn't take long to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must have been extra convincing that day. And I'm sure I enjoyed our, I've enjoyed all of our conversations and our communication. And I'm so excited to do this. So thank you for doing this with us today. Thank you. And Phyllis, thank you for coming on as well. I, if you all watching this can't tell how much, look at how much fun we've had in an hour. Could you just not spend a whole week with this crew? I, I don't know how you couldn't. <laughs> I agree. You. <laughs> well, thank you for taking time to tell everyone. I thought it was really important and I hope we, we answered questions. If you have more questions, you can message me. I'll put you in touch with these two. And uh, I cannot wait to see you on the cruise, but I think I better start sewing because there's two formal nights. I'm going to have to like come up with something fabulous. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes. I have no <laughs> doubt you'll come up with something great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Kelly and Phyllis, thank you so much. Say hi to thank Sean you. for me. I'll see him in Austin next uh, yes. in a couple weeks. Yep, absolutely. For the big reveal. So can't yes. tell you anything yes. else. That's we don't, yeah, we don't know there's something, something, something big. Something's going to happen. It always does. So yeah, we're it always does. Well, thank you for being here. I can't wait to uh, keep in touch. And all of you, I'll keep you in touch with how to make these pillowcases and what we're going to do with that. So thank you so much and you have a wonderful fly. day. Yes, absolutely. Bye. Bye. Bye.